Hello and welcome to this week's Council Bluffs News. I'm Aaron Zach. It's that time of year again. Students and faculty head back to school and the moment can be full of emotions. We have reaction from the first day back for the Council Bluffs Community School District, August 25th. School's back in session. Good morning, guys. What grade you in? And these first graders are coloring on. And happy to be back. Roosevelt Elementary, part of the 17 schools in the Council Bluffs Community School District, to return to class August 25th. Uh, first day of school is exciting for everyone. Um, we've been prepping for like three days to get everything ready. Thomas Jefferson High School also ringing in a new school year. And the teachers are ready. So far it's been going great. We have a lot of enthusiastic students this year and everybody seems to be finding their classes just fine. For the students in the class of 2017, this is the final fall before a new set of challenges. It's pretty busy. I know a lot of seniors, they have a shortened schedule, but I decided to try to fit in as many classes as possible just to have some extra opportunities. Extra opportunities. It's actually a push from school administrators, not just for academics, but for extracurriculars as well. The whole school, we, our goal this year is to get students involved in any type of activities after or before school. Um, the more they get involved after school or before school, the more likely they are to come to class and be held accountable for higher grades and better attendance. Back at the elementary level, administrators are focused on building a positive atmosphere as well. And probably a big one too is just our culture in our school. Um, just getting along with each other, being kind, being safe, being engaged. Those are some of our goals as well. School officials say, regardless of age group, high expectations are key factors in student success. The expectations in my class are to be highly engaged and to um, have great teamwork and work together on the projects that we have. While the first day brings back mostly smiles, parents of the younger students can sometimes have a tough time taking the next step. It's, a, it's, it's kind of bittersweet, um, especially our kindergarten families. Um, sometimes, you know, kindergartners first day, there's a few tears, but sometimes we see more tears coming from parents dropping kids off than the actual kids coming to class. And a piece of advice from someone who's no longer new to the back to school mantra. I would say just try to experience as many things as possible. Um, keep all doors open, all avenues are open. I'd say just, uh, uh, explore all those opportunities. The bell has rung and the school year is officially underway. From kindergartners saying goodbye to their parents for their first day of school to the senior class of 2017 enjoying their final days in K-12 education. Yes, mixed emotions are definitely an understatement.